Hi, my name is Esther Laviel, and I'm the Client Services Vice President, and we wanted to speak to you today about the updates that we have done on our Max Difference Question Template, as well as the output. Um, some of the things that we do with the Max Diff includes testing for um, most and least preferred out of a set of items that you like to put together, which we would call attributes. Um, so some of the things that we've enhanced on this question type um, includes the ability to run uh, multiple max diff question types in a series of cycles as well as adding pictures. So let's go ahead and take a peek at an example. Um, here we have a question which we ask, you know, out of all the players' names that are presented, which do you have players your most favorite? And so you can see here that I have a list of nine. And after you set up your uh, list of nine players or your set of items, um, what you'd like to do next is go into your settings um, and click on below the validation as well as randomizing if you like to randomize your max diff attributes. And then below there, go into your attribute settings and set this up. If you see, uh, the first thing we have here is maximum attributes. And what this will allow you to do, it will allow you to control the number of attributes you would like to run by each respondent. So if you put all, and you have nine of them that you set together for your attribute list, then all nine will be shown. Now, you can also choose to reduce it down and say, I only want to show six out of the nine. You know, how, do I, how can I do this? Um, so once you have that set up, um, you can go like this and say, I would like to have all of them set up all at once. And so it'll, be, it'll test every single one. The next thing that we've added is called the attributes per task. And the task means it's, you know, the page or every single cycle that the max diff will go through. So, or how many, um, how many items are going to be shown on each page. So if I say out of um, nine of them, I would like to have three of them shown at each time. That means that um, when I click the save, what this means with this question will now split the nine into three sections. So let's go ahead and take a peek at a preview here. So you can see out of the nine, only three are now going to be shown. And on top here, you can see that um, we're at step one of three. So we're now going to go in and do max diff a cycle of three. And go here. And that is the newest thing that we've added to the max diff. Now the other item we've also included with our max diff question is that now the questions can support pictures um, directly and then you can code the pictures accordingly. Um, so what you would want to do here is go ahead and open up your uh, question text choice template. Go ahead and update the question text and then Below here, go ahead and type in the name or code you'd like to code each of the images and make sure to upload your images properly and in the size that you would like. And then go ahead and select it from your image or multimedia library. So once you have that set up, go ahead and save it. And then you can continue on to going into the settings. And inside the settings, you can again choose to go and select your maximum attributes once again. So if you say you would like to, out of the list of five or six, you only want to show four of them, out of the five, that's fine. And then from that, you say you want to test you know, two at a time or three at a time. Go ahead and save that. And then you can go ahead and preview what the experience would look like. So here we're choosing some Cincinnati Red logos. You can ask them, you know, which one do you prefer and which one do you least prefer? 
I most prefer and least prefer, and I can say I like this one, and then I don't like this one as much. And not only does the code move over, but also the image moves over, so um, you distinctly know which one you prefer most or least. Select continue, and then you can go ahead and do continue testing as well. And that's how you set those up. So those are the new items that we've added to the Max Diff. I believe that um, everyone's going to be excited about it. So thank you very much, and have a great day.